Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, happy Wednesday, Utah. Halfway through the work week, some gorgeous shots coming in from yesterday. We had showers and thunderstorms at Capitol Reef. Photos coming in showing a double rainbow there. Nice to see some of the red rock, of course, the moisture that's in place. Problem with this time of year, the monsoon moisture and, of course, uh, all the heat that we're getting. We end up seeing flash flood potential with some of these storms that flare up, seeing too much moisture too quickly. Uh, a look at the northern end of the valley of Cache Valley, I should say, the northern end of the state. We've got cloud cover in place, moisture moving up from the southwest. Not showing the clouds across uh, southern Utah. This is the Ivan's camera, Black Desert Sky Cam showing again mostly clear conditions. A quiet start as you head out early this morning. Sunrise happening right now for St. George. Temperatures, we've been mild. Again, still about upper 70s, low 80s across the Wasatch Front. Provo at 80 degrees along with St. George. So we're tying the temperature there for this uh, this morning. 80 in Lake Powell, 60s in uh, 67, I should say, in Milford. 70s in Delta, 68 in Moab. Good morning to you. Upper level future cash showing the ridge of high pressure that's in place. This has been generating these very hot temperatures, but also scooping up some of the monsoonal moisture into the area. It starts to shift east today, allowing a trough of low pressure that's moving through the Pacific Northwest to help amplify uh, some of the conditions we're seeing across the state to be more conducive to showers and storms across northern Utah before we dry out into the weekend and see temperatures quickly rebound. Uh, we warm back up. Radar right now showing we've got moisture in place, fairly light precipitation showing up across much of the region, with exception of some of these thunderstorms across west central Utah. Seeing some of that in uh, Millard and Juab counties, also western Beaver County, eastern portions of Nevada. Across northern Utah, looks like we're getting a lightning strike out near the Evanston area, southwest Wyoming. Otherwise, it's mainly the clouds that we're seeing across northern Utah, maybe some light shower activity. But that chance of moisture will increase across the Wasatch Front throughout the afternoon, especially by this evening. We're expecting a nice uptick as uh, models are continuing to show. That's when we'll see just enough of that moisture stream in with some of the instability to generate some more widespread showers and storms. So future cast, timing it out for you. This is one o'clock. Plan on showers and thunderstorms across the south central part of the state, southeastern Utah. Not a great day, unfortunately, to be recreating in some of our slot canyons, the uh, beautiful red rock that we have in southern Utah, as we do have that risk of flash flooding. And then moisture is expected to stream into the northern half of the state. This is four o'clock, and we are going to see some of these isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms move through throughout your Wednesday afternoon noon and evening with lingering moisture into Thursday. So plan on more active conditions, although models showing a lot of the precipitation setting up just south of the Wasatch Front as we get into tomorrow afternoon, but we should continue to see active skies on Thursday, so flash flood potential will remain. This is for today from the National Weather Service showing that all areas with exception of Zion and Arches having probable risk of flash flooding, so flooding is likely. Definitely don't want to be in those lower elevations, the slot canyons, normal dry washes, or near recent burn scars as flooding will likely occur with these storms that are forming. The storm threat tomorrow also staying elevated. In fact, a marginal risk for much of the eastern half of the state, indicating we could see some slight or some isolated severe storms. Gusty winds could see hail up to an inch or so in diameter. Uh, could be, uh, again, a, a nasty day tomorrow across the eastern side of the state with some of these storms that flare up. Regional forecast for today, it's still hot everywhere you look. Not quite as hot as yesterday, but 99 in Provo. Temperatures in the 90s and triple digits across southern Utah. Lake Powell, maybe 96 with some of the showers and storms that are expected. In St. George, isolated storms, 103 today, 104 tomorrow, still a slight chance hanging on. We'll see windy conditions, temperatures near 102 Friday. Now with the high heat, the winds, we are expecting fire danger to stay elevated over the weekend and into next week. As far as the Wasatch Front goes, we've got, again, a chance of some isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms today, tomorrow. Temperatures falling to the low 90s on Thursday, upper 80s on Friday, partly cloudy, and then upper 90s on Saturday, near 100 degrees on Sunday, with temperatures falling behind another dry front Monday or Sunday, Monday into next week.